I built the world's largest game of Monopoly in Minecraft Hardcore. You see, I've always loved the game Monopoly, but as I've grown older, I've completely stopped playing it. So to bring back that childhood nostalgia, I've decided to build it in Minecraft Hardcore. There's just one problem. I have almost no resources. And to top it all off, I need over 150,000 blocks. So I made a guardian farm. Then I harvested hundreds of thousands of guardians for their drops. And after all that work, I only had one of the hundreds of different types of materials needed to build this board game. I'm bored already. Next up is the concrete, which I'm not going to do it manually. So I made a concrete converter that turns concrete powder into actual concrete. Oh, and if you're wondering how I build like this, I use a mod called Lightmatica to help me build. Then I loaded up the concrete duper. Okay, now to use the machine I to put all the concrete powder in these chests. Then I pull this lever. Wait. Nah, I'm just kidding. Anyways, then I just come over here and hold right click. And the concrete will automatically be converted. Yeah, this is taking way too long. So it's time to speed things up. I quickly gathered the mushroom blocks. Pack dice. Snow. Wool and practically every other material in the game. I also went back to the mycelium biome to get more steak. Mycelium, I mean mycelium. You didn't see anything. Yum. While getting materials, I also nice. found my very first golden enchanted apple. If you were wondering why there was no game audio in that clip, it's because I was listening to heavily copyrighted music. Anyways, back to the video. Now that I got all the materials, it's time to find a place to build it. After a bit of searching, I found this vast ocean. Wait, I need to destroy that island real quick. There we go. Okay, I'm gonna start by making the outline of the board. Yeah, this is going to be massive. It won't even fit within my render distance. Next, I'm going to build the outline for all the different rectangles on the board. Before anyone says they're squares, no, they're not. And I'm done with the outline. That took a lot longer than it should have, but oh well. Anyways, it's time to start building the actual squares. I'd decide the plan would be to start with the ghost square because, I mean, it is a ghost square, then work my way around the board. So let's get started. Oh, and I decided to use prismarine bricks since they're the block with the closest shade of green that Monopoly board uses. There we go. I'm done with one out of the 40 squares. Ah, <sighs> this is gonna take a while. Now let's move on to the next squares, which are legit the worst squares ever, the poop squares. These are pretty self-explanatory. Nobody likes them and they legit look like poo. All that aside, let's finish building them real quick. There's Mediterranean Avenue, and there's Baltic Avenue. Next up, we got the community chest, which is actually right in between the poop squares. So let's build it. And I'm done. If you don't know what community chest is, pretty much when you land on it, you draw a card from the middle of the board. According to the wiki, you'll more than likely get some free cash. And there's actually three of these on the board, so let's make the rest of them real quick. Also, if you were wondering, I changed up the spelling from community to group because they pretty much mean the same thing and community just wouldn't fit in the available space. There we go, I'm done with all of them. Now I know what you're thinking, they don't look anything like a chest, but watch this. No, not that, this. The farther away you get from it, the more and more it starts to look like a chest. Next up, we got everyone's favorite space, income tax. This one's pretty self-explanatory. You gotta pay your taxes, kids. Also, this space is pretty basic. It's just a green background with a diamond looking thing in the middle. Now let's move on to the railroad spaces. There's actually a total of four of these on the board. So let's get to building. Them. 
there's Reading Railroad, there's the Blank Railroad. Make sure to stick around until later in the video if you want to find out why it's blank. There's the Body Odor Railroad. Now, I'm just kidding. According to the wiki, it actually stands for Baltimore and Ohio Railroad. But we all know Ohio isn't real, so I guess it's just the Baltimore Railroad. And there's the Final Railroad. Okay, I'm done with the railroads, so it's time to move on to the light blue squares. So let's just spawn those in real quick, and bam, they're done. Wait, those numbers aren't centered. Give me a second. That looks a lot better. Okay, so if you're wondering why there's now a total of three blank spaces, it's because the names that are supposed to go there are just way too long and they won't fit. Wait, that sounds wrong. Anyways, as I was saying, they won't fit. So instead of leaving them blank, I've decided to put some of your guys' names on them. All you have to do is like the video and hit that subscribe button. Now that we got that out of the way, it's time to do the chance spaces, which are almost the exact opposite of the community chest spaces. Instead of getting money, you'll more than likely get penalized. And there's actually three of these, a pink one, a blue one, and an orange one. And with that, I'm practically finished with the first row. Wait, how'd this chicken get all the way out here? No. Anyways, I think it's time to start speedrunning some spaces since I don't want this video to be an hour long. There we go, I'm done with the jail space. And I cannot lie, this looks really good. There's James Charles, I mean Charles Place. There's States Avenue, there's Virginia Avenue. There's the outline of the electric company. Now I just need to place some glowstone so it will glow. And now some yellow carpet to make it look better. That looks a lot better with the carpet. Anyways, let's get back to speedrunning the spaces. There are the orange spaces, which are legit some of the best spaces on the entire board. And there's free parking. Fun fact, according to the wiki, nothing is supposed to happen when you land on free parking. But when I used to play, I used to win the jackpot in the middle of the board. What rules did you used to play by? That's officially the second row completed. To start off the third row, we got Kentucky Avenue without the letter C, since it wouldn't fit. There's Indiana Avenue, and finally, there's Illinois Avenue. Just in case you were wondering why I made the red squares out of mushroom blocks, it's because they're the reddest blocks in the game. I don't even know if that's a word, but oh well. And plus, you can't even see the dots after you get far enough away. Anyways, it's time to get back to building. There's Atlantic Avenue, and there's Venter Avenue. Next up is Waterworks, which in-game is actually a pretty bad property. However, we do need water to live. At least that's what the internet is telling us. I usually just chug gallons of Mountain Dew and I'm fine. There's the jail square, which I think is pretty self-explanatory. With that, the entire third row is officially complete. There are the green squares, which I also made a mellow avenue since why not? And finally, there's park place and boardwalk. This whole row is pretty boring. Anyways, now it's time to fill in the center of the board. So let's just do a jump cut. I'm just kidding. If I did that, I could already see everyone commenting saying I cheated. But I know your attention span won't last. So enjoy this 15 second time lapse with some stimulating gaming videos on the side. Now that the board is filled in, I just need to make the chance space, the community chest space. Wait, what are you doing here? Okay, look, I know not a single hardcore YouTuber likes you, so I'm going to give you a chance. Oh. And finally, the Monopoly logo with rich Uncle Pennybags. Who came up with that name? And just like that, we're done, right? Wrong. In the end game of Monopoly, you could start buying houses and hotels, making other players pay a lot more rent when they land on your space. But instead of making them boring green and red houses, I decided to have each color represent a different biome. For example, I made the purple color represent the mycelium biome. So for the houses, I made mini mushroom houses, and for the hotels, I made much bigger mushroom houses. Next, I made igloos for the houses on the light blue squares. For the brown squares, I made nothing. 
since like I said earlier, nobody likes to poop squares, so why would I make houses for them? For the orange spaces, I made small villager acacia huts for the houses, and then I made much bigger villager huts for the hotels. I know, I'm very creative. For the red spaces, I made a mini nether fortress and a mini bastion, which I bedazzled with some gold. Next up is a yellow square, which I made a mini desert temple for the hotel and a mini, mini desert temple for the houses. Look at it, you could even go inside of it. Wait, I'm stuck. For the green squares, I made a basic villager hub for the houses and a mini three-story woodland mansion for the hotel. Honestly, this is my favorite mini build out of them all. Here's the inside, just in case you want to see it. Finally, I decided to make the blue spaces ocean themed, and I just made some mini ocean monuments for these. And just like that, I had built the large scheme of Monopoly in Minecraft Hardcore.